What's up guys, this is that guy from Minecarts for Us. And today I'm actually gonna show you a machine that I have made, um which automatically makes scrap. And you may say, why do you need scrap? Well, you're gonna need it in the long run because you're gonna need a lot of it. Hold on, let me turn this sound down here. Uh you're gonna need a lot of it when you get a mass fabricator because those things use scrap ridiculously fast. And if you wanna make your you matter ridiculously fast you're gonna have to produce scrap ridiculously fast and this is how you do it and this is the way that um, we found most efficient uh, actually right now these aren't going at full capacity so I might actually have to add another another one going uh, into leading into here uh, but for now I'll show you what we have so this is fairly simple to set up um, and I guess I will show you the steps through it uh, I'm not actually gonna build it again just for the sake of I already have it built and it's easy enough to look through and see how we built it here anyway so if I start off on the left side both sides are symmetrical so I only have to show you one side on the left side here what you want to start off with is you want to start off with digging out the hole for this lava and water spot and what you want to do <clears throat> is you want to dig out three spaces and then dig down one space on the third space which the water will flow down <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry, I'm a little bit sick or allergies. I don't really know what it is right now, but I'm congested and it sucks. But anyway, so you you want to put your water in there. And when you put your water in there, it'll that uh, by digging that block down right there, it's going to keep the water from flowing to the other side. And then once you place the lava over here, uh, the lava will meet with the water, and it will create cobblestone. Now you want to make sure that you have this set up exactly like I do, or else you will end up creating um, obsidian, and it's going to frustrate you a lot because uh, of the way that it works out in Minecraft. Now, this thing right here, what I have is a block breaker. And I will show you in Not Enough Items how to make this. Uh, if I look up block breaker uh, right now, um, if I look here, you can see that it consists of six cobblestone, uh, three along the left side, three along the right side, a piston in the middle, an iron pickaxe on top, and redstone on the bottom. And what this is, is exactly what it says, it breaks blocks for you. Now, <clears throat> what I did before, before I put in this water and lava, was I mined out this br uh, this block right here, and I looked up and I put a block here and a block here, and I, I placed the block breaker down so it would be facing uh, down. And then I just put the block back and took away these blocks so it's facing down. And uh, this will, um, and then you can put down the lava and the water, and this will allow you to break the cobblestone block that is produced there. And what this is right here is a, um, what is this called? Wow, I, it's a, uh, something, redstone, something, I'm sorry, I can't remember the exact name of it. I will look and tell you in one second. I just need to find it. Let's go find the thingy. I look dumb with, okay, here we go. Uh, it's called a timer. There we go. That's, yeah. It's called a timer. Anyway, now how to make a timer is you make a bunch of stone wires and stone anodes. These are simple things to make. Uh, and if you're using TechIt, you have this as a uh, resource. So if you come here and you push R on something that you need to figure out to make, you just uh, push R on it to figure out the individual things. And let's see here. So if you just, what's this? You cook a stone, you make stone wafers. Uh, and then you can make stone wafers into the redstone, go back more, and then you uh, continue to <coughs> produce these other things. Excuse me. Um, very simple to make. And what this does is uh, it every time it passes this little redstone torch right here, this uh, spinny thing, every time it passes, it produces a signal. So when you right click on this, you can set the interval. I have it set for 1.5 seconds. So for one full rotation, it takes 1.5 seconds to go all the way around. And it will send that signal every 1.5 seconds. And that's what it's doing. Uh, it is um, sending that signal to this block breaker, telling it to break a block. And that, that block you can't see right now because we're on a server and there's a bit of lag, so you can't really see it. Um, but it is breaking the blocks and above there is a hole which you just place a chest on top and uh, it places the blocks in here and uh, this chest collects all the cobblestone blocks and then above I placed a wooden pipe which um, wooden pipes are required because a wooden pipe actually sucks out items from a chest powered by an engine and if you use redstone engines it's quite easy because redstone engines once they heat up 
um, they start going faster and they don't explode and you don't need any kind of power source for them now if you want to know how to make a redstone engine I'll, I'll look it up here for you and I will show you it's quite simple all you have to do is make piston wooden gears glass and wooden uh, planks and wooden gears are just sticks so that's easy enough uh, very simple to make very easy low uh, low cost <coughs> um, and then all I did was place a golden pipe here because golden pipes uh, speed up the process once you uh, power them with a redstone torch or any t uh, type of red power. The torches work easiest and the way that I have it, it's powering both the engine and this. So um, that's the simple setup right there and then once you have all of that set up, all you want to do is set up a pipeline going to where your um, your recyclers are. And uh, I just have an iron pipe here which means that this uh, makes it so that if you see the shaded area here, the shaded area here, means that this tube won't go into this tube and this tube won't go into this tube. They both go down into these tubes, which then separate into these both both of these recyclers. Excuse me. Um, and these recyclers will automatically, as you can see, I have four overclockers and the overclocker upgrades just make these produce um, the scrap quite a bit faster. And uh, then I have on the so each side of them, I think I'm pretty sure you have to have these pipes uh, that have the stone coming from them leading into the top or else it will go into a, see it's like if you look at the machine and then you look at how these boxes are set up, like that's where something enters. So if something enters from the top, it will be placed into this blo uh, box. And if something enters from the right side, it will be placed into, into here or maybe the left side also and from the bottom will be placed in the bottom so you have to have these tubes feeding into the top and these tubes sucking out from the side so if you have those you'll be fine if you're finding trouble with that you probably have something wrong but um so this is how I have it set up and then so when scrap is produced uh, these engines work exactly just like that uh, <coughs> wood pipe over there and they suck out the scrap and place them into chests now these chests are just simple chests and it just continues to make scrap the entire time and that's pretty much how it goes uh, in order to pipe uh, power these all I have back here I'll show you real quick um, is a bat box right here which is being powered by what am I getting hurt by holy skeleton and stuff that was yeah see I forgot to put torches back here that's my mistake and now the skeleton is going to kill me because I can't get to it oh jeez come on come on Come on, stop. Co cooperate with me. Cooperate with me and die. Thank you. Um, okay, yeah, I have to put torches back here. But anyway, these are just water strainers, and water strainers are simple mechanisms that uh, when you feed water into them, uh, they produce electricity. And I have that leading into an MFE, which goes into a low voltage uh, transformer, and that goes into the bat box. And I'll explain more stuff about that later if you want me to. But this tutorial is simply about the scrap, auto scrap machine. And um, if you want, uh, when you have the MFE, or excuse me, not the MFE, the uh, mass fab, uh, later, uh, once we have our mass fab, we will have uh, pipes leading from these chests being sucked out by the wooden pipes that lead directly into the mass fab, and that will constantly be making UU matter, which are very valuable resources that you need to make a whole bunch of things in the tech kit. But that's all for the tutorial right now. The tutorial, excuse me, I can't even talk. That is all for now, and if you have any questions, just ask them in the comments below. Uh, give it a like and a thumbs up, and I'll be back for more. See you guys later. Solo Pato. Really solo Pato.